guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Beautiful ladies, how are you doing? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for January the 23rd until February the 3rd. I hope you're all doing well. Um, my apologies if you're waiting for a reading. I'm going to be getting um, to those tomorrow and on um, Saturday because I work as a dental hygienist on Thursday and Friday so I don't usually do readings those days. But um, So hopefully you should have your reading by then and I apologize so much for the delay but I was writing my book I really needed to concentrate on this it was a you know the creative process once you're in that zone it is so hard to get out of it um, and so I'm so thankful that I did and I thank you guys for giving me the time in order to do that all right so I did a split divine partnership reading for the masculine so we'll do the same for you guys I'll pull the cards first, and then I'll go through the positions. And I'm also going to use my smaller deck. Let me just give those a quick shuffle. So as you see, I have my original deck on the back wall here. So if one of the cards fall off, I'll add it to the reading because they've been a lot of synchronicities happening lately with the cards and definitely strong messages coming through. Okay, so let's begin. So starting with how you view the relationship with the masculine, three swords, wow, the masculine got this in his present position for the twin flame reading. So in terms of this connection, you, you also had the five of cups in your present position. So that was deep pain, mourning, loss. So when you look at this connection with the masculine, you feel a heartbreak. So I'm going to pull the first card at the top of the deck here. Wow. The Ten of Wands, so you got this card in the near future. So you're feeling burdened, you feel like you have you're carrying all the weight of the relationship or or something, you know. Um, you feel like you've reached a pivotal moment in your life and in order to maintain this success, um, you need to keep putting forth this effort. And so you feel exhausted, you feel burnt out, okay? So this ending or this feeling is coming to an end in the near future. However, you know, that's not a very good view to have of this connection, this heartbreak, right? So um, turn that love that you feel for the masculine towards yourself. So what are you resisting? Wow, the Ten of Swords. That's crazy. The masculine got this as um, the card for his near future. So synchronicities, different um, different decks entirely but the cards seem to be coming up the same so the ten of swords and masculine got this in the near future so this is an ending to the dark night of the soul so it's stabbing thoughts feeling betrayed left for dead basically so you're resisting putting an end to negative thoughts or putting you know cutting away something letting something go it's, you know um, obviously this is causing you heartbreak you guys are mirroring each other with this energy so whatever he's feeling you're feeling the crown chakra let me just move these cards over here okay so the crown chakra so the crown chakra is the highest level of awareness your direct connection source so you're resisting 
seeing something. You're resisting learning a lesson. You're resisting releasing something. And that needs to end. Maybe you're holding on to, you know, some negative thoughts about the masculine. Or, you know, you had the devil show up for you, which was a synchronicity in the, the masculine's external environment. So you were bringing the devil into the union for the twin flame reading. So maybe, you know, there's some ego issues, codependency, that kind of thing that is holding you back that you need to release. Or maybe you need to just completely cut your attachments from the masculine, who knows. But you, you're the one that knows. This card means I know. But you're resisting seeing something. Something that you already know. Something needs to be released, cut away. So your message from your higher self is the Two of Pentacles. So this is the, your seed of intention has been planted. It is now taken root and is transforming your, you know, your 3D reality. Um, and as it does, it makes you feel off balance. So you want to regain balance. So your higher self is telling you to, to find your focus again to, you know, maybe you're feeling pulled in two different directions. Find your center. Be the calm within the storm. Wow, Sacra Chakra. Um, so there was an, an emotional blockage is what I was picking up on for the masculine side. Um, you too as well with the Five of Cups. So you... You know, when the sacral chakra is number two, the masculine had the base chakra and how he saw this um, connection in the masculine reading. So there's blockages at the first two levels of chakras. Um, here we have a crown chakra, which you're resisting. So you need to express your emotions, let it out. Something You're holding something back, and as a result, you feel this blockage. You feel resistance. Whenever you feel resistance in something, then that's the lesson you need to work through. That's the attachment you need to release. So, something's definitely burdening, burdening the feminine. Past is the Six of Wands. Interesting, the masculine got this in his present position for the masculine reading. Um, so this is feeling encouraged, feeling successful, feeling on the right path. People are cheering you on. You feel like a rock star. So this is very positive vibration. This card comes after challenges, obstacles. Hermit, philosopher. So you've detached or you... Yeah, you sought out solitude in the past, and from that solitude, you found some answers. Um, you know, you found aloneness, you found stillness, and in that stillness, you've, your heart is breaking. Or maybe you've had to detach from somebody, and you felt encouraged to do that, but in the present moment, it's causing you pain. So I'm actually going to pull one more card from my tinier deck. Family issues, count your blessings, um, what you draw attention to grows. Okay, so you may have detached from yeah, you know, something in the 3D reality that was holding you back, having to do with your family. Um, you let it go, and you're healing from it, but, yeah, there's still some deep pain there, some worrying, you're tossing and turning at night, can't sleep. Um, okay, so your present moment is the solar plexus chakra, so another lower chakra. This is strength, courage, willpower, um, 
you want to pursue something, but you're afraid to do it. Now, in the Twin Flame reading, you were being accused of, of as being um, complacent, lazy by the universe. So the universe was telling you to, to take control of your life again. You've lost your power. You've hold. You've um, handed over the reins to somebody else. To the King of Cups. So the King of Cups could be the a water sign, but I really see it as the masculine. You know, you have that emotional blockage there. Um, there was a lot of water coming through on your side of the reading for the Twin Flame, so more water here. Again, emotions. You want to express yourself, but you don't feel strong enough, courageous enough. Um, the King of Cups is somebody who is emotionally balanced as well as mentally balanced, right? There's an air and a water element. So the Queen of Cups is somebody who's all emotions, gives of herself completely, without limit. The King of Cups has the wherewithal to stop. You know, he has, he, um, he wears his heart on his sleeve, very, very deeply loving man, but he knows when to draw the line. Okay, so you are possibly resisting knowing where that boundary is. Or maybe you are you don't have enough courage or strength in order to express yourself your emotions to the masculine. Um yeah. Each position is the nine pentacles. Interesting. The masculine got this as a confirmation card. Uh, for how he viewed the relationship and the main energy card was the base chakra so this is you know feeling independent feeling free feeling you know it's a very strong self-love card um, but this is ready ripeness okay so we've got a synchronicity here of this abundance this happily ever after um, arrival energy in the future for both aspects but um, you have to conquer those blockages first, you know, cut away the things that are holding you back. And so you will gain that freedom. You will, you know, this is harvest, the return, whatever you were working so hard on. These are the fruits of your labor. Now, um, the masculine's external environment was the eight of pentacles. So you could be working towards this financial freedom um, yeah so let's see what comes along with it Wow 11 11 Wow okay so if you're able to express your emotions the twin flame connection is manifesting into your 3d reality for some people A very strong message of ripeness readiness harvest boom 3D reality, the twin flame connection. Right, this is confirmation of a twin flame connection. And it's manifested into your 3D. So congratulations for some of you guys. The masculine got a loyal heart as a message from the universe, which is commitment. So it very well could be. So release those blockages. Okay, so what is the message from the universe? Be open, be receptive, share of yourself. Um, at the heart of the Twin Flame reading was the Queen of Pentacles, and that's somebody who shares unconditionally, gives of herself freely, and she doesn't ask anything in return, and the, the universe is asking you to do the same. To, you know, in order to get abundance, you need to give. The universe fills that void with more abundance when you give up yourself. So, three of swords again. Don't close yourself off. Open up. Heal your heart. Heal those wounds. All right, we got a, we got the this blockage of fear. I can't give a, of myself anymore. It hurts too much every time I open myself up to to this connection or what have you 
you know, it doesn't work out. But that's your expectations. You're expecting something to happen. You're expecting a return from it. When you expect something from it, then that's the karmic energy. It's, you know, it's when you feel lack, you get more lack. When you give, you get more abundance. When you give of your heart, it comes back to you tenfold. So what is in your external environment is the full card. So this is taking a leap of faith, starting from zero at zero point. So this is being born like a brand new person, a baby. You have no expectations, no attachments. You're just starting life conscious. So this is the beginning of the fool's journey. So it's in your external environment. So there is a new beginning manifesting or starting in the external. It could be masculine there. You have a lot of endings taking place. A lot of tens. And so, yeah, this could very well be a new beginning. Wow, reunion. Bam. Six of Cups, somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, previous life. Pure, innocent love. It's, it's having memories of love and wanting to return to that. So if somebody in your external environment is taking a leap of faith, they're moving towards reunion with you, I guess, right? Crazy. So be open to that. Don't let a broken heart... Um, ruin that opportunity so what do you fear judgment card grand awakening so you you know this is realizing your entire life has just been an illusion right you see that realization with the philosopher the, the hermit over there you've already detached from it but in reviewing your life in reviewing your past you made some realizations that scared you and it's closing your heart off so what I'm seeing here is you need to look even further than that um, realize that we are here to love we are here to enjoy life you know we're not here to work our asses off right we're here to experience love in its truest form and so something is blocking you something's scaring you king of wands so this could be a fire sign um, it's interesting how in the masculine reading there was a lot of queens and the, the feminine readings there, there's a lot of kings so the king wand could be a fire sign um, this is somebody who's very powerful very charismatic the center of attention right they're the leader they're they could be a leader of a revolution but they're unchained so you've been reviewing your life, possibly the connection with this person, or you've been seeing how you haven't been in control of your life, you haven't been a powerful, um, you haven't exerted your masculine strength, you haven't taken control of your life. You know, this movie, this dream life still is to be written, still to come to fruition. So, you know, the message for you guys was to take control of those reins, right? The message from the universe for the Twin Flame reading was for you to take control of your, your reins and pursue the things that make you feel emotionally happy. So that energy appears to be there. It's in your environment, but you're closed off to it. So the overall energy is the hope card, star card, your wishes are coming true. So the worst is over now. You got all these tens. They're, they're completely coming to an end in the near future. So take rest in knowing that. And I was like this all last night because we had a tsunami. Why can't I say that word today? A tsunami warning last night. There was a 
um, 8.2 magnitude um, earthquake in Alaska. So um, Port Alberni, where I live, is the most high at risk place to be living when the tsunami hits because our town is right at the end of this channel so all of the ocean water channels in to basically right where I'm sitting so yeah I was exhausted and I, I've been pretty exhausted trying to get that book written you know, I'm worried about getting the readings out to you guys as well so I'm glad to see this you know it's an end to exhaustion it is healing energy beautiful healing energy coming in the worst is over now. It's time to rest, rejuvenate, relax. Right, so the dream is manifesting for a lot of you. There's going to be a reunion for Twin Flames. Um, and for the rest of you who are still finding it hard to move beyond that blockage, um, it's a time of healing. So just be open to the experience. Don't close yourself off. All right, so I'm going to pull one card for a message from the universe. Final messages do you have for the feminines, please? Here. Yang. Oh my god. That is freaking hilarious. And I'm saying that because you guys got to watch the Divine Masculine reading I did. He got Yang twice and it fell off the wall as well, so. Um, let me read that too. So Yang is, um, in the, his reading, he was discovering this truth within himself. He knows that in order to be happy, to be truly satisfied, he needs to live his life authentically. And so this is a message from the universe for you guys, I guess, to embody that energy as well. But what I'm really feeling here right away, as soon as I saw the card, was the masculine reaching out. You know, these are masculine hands, and the masculine got the Divine Masculine card for message from the universe as well as what he was fearing. Okay, so number one. So I read the Oracle message and the relationship message for the masculine, so I'll do the same for you guys. Okay. So the masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. So the oracle message is, um, Yang represents the, the power of action, the energy that propels the world forward, and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway what you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Again, similar card to what we read in the Twin Flame reading. Take control of your life. Take action. Right? If you want those things to manifest, then you need to pursue them. So the relationship message is circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air. And now is a time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's, that hard time is over now. The worst is behind you. And for some, like I said, reunion. Your masculine is definitely in your environment and he's ready for a new beginning. Commitment. All right, so I hope this helped you guys. And again, thank you for your patience. Um, if you've ordered a reading, I am, will definitely put a lot of candy. Um, I'll give you a lot you know, more bang for the buck for sure because you guys have been waiting. All right, guys. Cheers. Peace.